Welcome to the Academy of Animator Lighting Challenge, where we are going to go through the submissions from these past two months and announce the winner. So, for those unfamiliar with the Lighting Challenge, this is where we put up animated or still visuals ready to light. And our students then take those assets and light them any way they like to tell a story. And then they submit it here on our Discord channel and we go through it, we talk about it, and we declare a winner. This month, or I should say at least two months, when we do an animated challenge, we usually like to give students at least two months in our community to work on this. And this two month challenge is called Baby uh, Dragon by Atif Abrihim from CG Ref. So let's take a quick look at this animation, shall we? So this is straight out of um, a simple renderer, no lighting in here. And this is what our community, and you don't have to be an enrolled student to uh, participate in our lighting challenges. Anyone can participate in our community, so we welcome anyone. So this is the animation. Pretty awesome, huh? I mean, this is one thing where it's hard to find uh, ready to light assets, right? Especially when you're focusing on just lighting. So that's why we have these lighting challenges here. And if you miss one of the lighting challenges from the past and you're interested in going through and going through some of our old challenges, they're all available as well. So as ready uh, to light assets, so you can go through and light them whenever you want. It doesn't have to be specific to when the lighting challenge is being done. So it's a fantastic resource, especially if you're looking to build up your demo reel, looking for inspiration, or just something to you know, create over the weekend. I know I like to do that sometimes as well. So going back, let's go back to the live challenge. And this is where I was just showing you a couple of our old challenges that is available at all times as well. So let me just go back and find that channel. Here we go. Okay, so this is our new challenge. And let's see some submissions. You'll see on this uh, red here, yeah, people are kind of giving some work in progress, um, asking questions, whatnot. Well, when I see work in progress, I'm gonna skip over it because I'm gonna go straight to finals. This is also a work in progress. Okay, I see a final here. So let's go and play it from Puerto Rico. Awesome, I love how there's such a, like you can add all your own elements. Focus on your color, the, the dragon color change. I think there's just bats in the foreground. I love it, it's great. So this is an animated, uh, challenge so it does take a little bit more for me to kind of take a look at all the wonderful pieces that you know someone has gone through here um, Frederico says it's his first time participating in the challenge for this project they handled lighting and set dressing in Maya render, rendered an Arnold and completed the compositing in Luke great combination let's take a look I'm just going to do a scroll so from the beginning one I love the additions of you know this like flower flowery um assets going on flying through so if i to go back i love the additions adding a lot more interest here in that empty space really nice one area though i'll say that stands out and this is where at the academy um our students get feedback on their work just like i'm doing right now and this is honestly how anyone, even myself, after two decades of experience, um, gain, you know, get better. So while I love the addition of all of these around it, what it does is actually distracts my eye from the baby dragon. So one thing I'll say is, depending on where you want your eye to go, and that's the power of lighting, right? We're directing the viewer's eye. We want the viewer to be focused on this. So for example, here, I would say it would be great if 
this baby dragon was getting light, like bounce lighting right here from this red coming up and all the colors um, surrounding it to make it pop out so my eye will see it and I won't be distracted from all of this around that. So there, there's an opportunity there to improve this even further. Basically, it doesn't feel like he's integrated with these extra uh, assets around. Like as he flies over here, you think you get like maybe a stronger rim light, backlight of a blue hit here, things like that. Those are the little details that will really bring this together. And then also speaking of that, like environment wise, it would be nice if the environment also interacted with these new elements, like a little bit red, um, spill, yellow, gold, blue here. And like here, a little bit more of a, a shape here in this, in this dark um, fill area. So then like when we land, we can see him because he's kind of camouflaged right now. Like you see how he gets that little bit yellow. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but for example, let's say that is the, is the gold yellow, but like coming from there, that's the kind of lighting would be great as he comes through here to get a little bit of a pink hit, a little bit of a red hit, you know? really bring that lighting and the character integration there. Um, here, I like how he's like peeking. You did a great job where you, the characters in shadow here are peeking out into the light. I like that a lot. I think there's an opportunity here to put a little bit of bounce here so it doesn't go too dark into, into the black. But that's a great shot right there. And as he's going through, I love how he's going in and out of light. And <laughs> this color change is awesome. Like, uh, honestly, it's interesting. I'm curious what, if, like, what is motivating this color change, like, right here when he lands. But then if you're doing that, part of me is like, I wonder, would it be cool then to have that kind of color change as he goes past these different colors? I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of, like, how to really bring this eye, uh, my eye to this dragon. But I know it's like, you see the difference here when he changes color, but all his surrounding is is gray is like a more monotone be saturated right but he's like really popping so that's where that's super successful like this is one of my favorite frames here as he goes into um where he's going to see uh the other character and i like the foreground element for sure that is great it adds depth it adds more interest you know it kind of pushes back and then this shot here i think that's it's it's really nice. I think the one thing I'll call it is like white is a hard it's it's an interesting balance to make sure it's like not overblown and not feeling dirty but clean. It definitely has that nice clean feel, which I really like. Um it might be a little too bright though for overall for this kind of setting, I would say. And then eyes are also an interesting thing. I always look at eyes and this one just feels a little if you look at the eye white, a little too bright for the setting as well. But I'm liking the lighting that's hitting here. It's really nice. I think it could, there could be a little bit more grounding here for this dragon. And when I say grounding, I mean, this should be like, it's like a contact shadow, right? It should be a little bit more shadowy where it's hitting the ground and then roll up um, to be a little bit brighter. But overall, I think amazing, really good job. And I love all the, this is what I love about the lighting challenge, like all your personal um, like details that you put in from, adding these assets in the beginning, changing the color, the foreground, and everything else. So amazing job. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So the next one we have, I'm gonna skip this one since it says work in progress. Next one we've got Pete. Okay, let's take a look. So this is amazing. I love how, like I said, so different, but the same scene, right? It's like everyone gets this kind of base palette and then you make it your own. So this one I'm really liking, you know, a lot of work on the materials on, on the terrain. I, I even like, you know, to have the, the credits at the end, really brings it all together. So overall, what really stands out to me is the work on the materials here in the, in the environment, really nice. I think one opportunity, although it's like it is in full, you know, sunlight, I think um, when he's flying or they're flying up here, a little bit too overblown. And I would imagine if there's so much sun here, the sun's hitting from, hold up. Here, 
here, which is nice. But I like, since he says, well, it's funny, I'm watching it small, but this is where lighting is actually an interesting thing to see it in a smaller work. Sometimes I do this just to make sure the shaping is in a good place and just the basic levels. But this is where, if I'm looking at this, like I think this shaping back here in the environment's really nice. You're getting that hit, you're getting the the shadow, nice, like just creates a really nice contour. I'd wish I'd get a little bit more of it here. So I think one, we can go down on the fill side a little bit on the dragon here, but I think the key is a little bit too hot too and maybe too soft here on this character but not it's like for sunlight this direct we get more of a shadow that we're seeing like back here so i use this as kind of the base um for that shaping here and as they land <laughs> see like i love i noticed these little movements you put in i think it's really a nice touch um but like one thing i'll say is like this is getting a little bit too blown out and hot same thing um, here in the dragon like the bounce look at the bounce it's like super bright here like I'd want him to get a little bit darker especially under the mouth area and down here to give it a bit of more shaping and she's looking great I have to say um, like just that subtle how it goes from the dark right underneath the contact shadow here and I think her levels are really nice it's not too overblown and it's it's reading really well. It's getting nice shaping. And this is what in the other comment I had for the other entry about that contact shadow on the ground here. And that's what we're getting here, which is really nice. Um, one minor thing I just noticed, like it's getting, I don't know what these are the toenails. I think they are, but it's really dark. <laughs> I guess it's here too. It's almost like black, black that's getting no shaping. Um, just drawing my eyes. I feel like I would, change that material just slightly if it's not receiving um it seems like it's just not receiving the light so that's a, something that caught my eye but overall i think it's really good i think we can come down here on this bright spot and it would be great if yeah i think that's that would be my main thing and i'd also play honestly um with like the depth of field on your shots i think that would also create a little bit more depth <laughs> so like back here like that kind of goes out maybe that would also help pop the character off the foreground a little bit but like even here especially that moment where he comes down like i want to focus here but this is so in focus i think it'd be nice for it to be out of focus a little bit but overall loving it i think it's great so let's move on now look at the differences in all these submissions. This is what I love. And I can't get enough of it. I know I keep saying it, but I'm going to say it again. So, yeah, and look, there's effects, there's dust, all of this stuff. Amazing work. So let's go back. I love the color palette, the warm and the cool sky. Definitely can read the character really well. You see how, like, just from the small screen, like I don't lose that character. My eyes are on that character. Okay, so let's just go to the beginning. So I'm really liking, as I said, like my eye is really drawn to the character, the brightest element on the screen. One thing I'll just say is it there's an opportunity to integrate this character a little bit better with the environment because I'm liking the the very kind of powerful key that we're getting from screen left here but i'm questioning i'm not seeing that key hit as hard on the environment which makes me feel like it's disjointed um i would kind of like go one i think she might be uh a little bit too hot here so i bring that down slightly and then i would like kind of go in between where i'm liking the nice kind of balance here in the background environment but i think to balance it to make it feel like it's it's in the same environment we're gonna have to increase the key decrease the key on the character um to make it feel like they fit together um like for example here this is a great example like this character is so bright right and then the environment that they're standing on is dark like how is that light only hitting the character and not the surrounding environment so there's like little things like that to keep in mind 
but overall like the color palette um is really beautiful i like how you know you use the effects here to really enhance the mood again here one th question i have is just like is there is there a lot of light linking here because again super bright on this character i'm not feeling the brightness on the other character so light linking is great if that's what you're doing it to to provide like control over some things but generally i advise don't do any light linking at first and have everyone use the same lighting because that's how you get that cohesive um you know environment with with character lighting and then only break it after you've had everything in a good place and maybe there's like little things that we need to focus on like sometimes i'll do a uh, light rig with only like specular for one of the characters just to get a little bit of like more shaping in there things like that but i wouldn't entirely use like different light rigs for every single element because then what you get is this disjointedness of lighting but overall you know the color palette is amazing i think you know i'm really getting the sense of story here and yeah i love it i love how it's you know everyone tells a unique story okay now i haven't even played this one yet but this one looks quite different as well which i love okay oh wow talk about like popping out right with the white and a little like uh fairy dust lights here and this is really beautiful i love it okay so let's go through so i'm loving this kind of magical fairy tale type of land but it's like got a kind of you know the contrast of it gives me a little bit of a edgy feel which i like and with the sky that's dark in the back as well and the character is like has that pop of color which is really cool um like this you do a great job integrating it like i feel like this character is on this rock right and then they come out So yeah, overall, I'm really liking it. I think, like anything, there's always opportunity. I feel like the, I like the contrast and the feel of the, the extremes here, but I think there is room to bring in a little bit more shaping into these dark rocks. Um, I think it would uh, it just enhance it a little bit more. Like it goes way, it goes a little bit too quick to just peel back. And I'm missing that shaping that we could get here. Especially being surrounded by like this nice like fluffy whiteness. I feel like there could be that opportunity. Um here I think that's a great shot. Again, watch out for like the deep blacks just go into pure black. And then the eye here is is feeling very bright to me. I was gonna say the bounce here, like I wouldn't mind having a little bit more of a shadow here, but the bounce would be like kind of this white uh, uh environment, so I'm getting it. But I think just a little less here would provide a little bit more grounding for the character and then let's keep on going yeah the eyes are just getting super bright you can definitely see it here so just bring that down i would suggest and overall like i'm liking the spec here it might be a little strong but that's a great example of like shaping through like a highlight yeah and like my eyes totally focused on the characters it's you know i don't mind this goes to dark i add still a little bit of fill a little specular kind of um bounce or whatnot to just bring in some shaping there but it does help me kind of focus here in the foreground which is really nice but overall i love it again vastly different from all the other ones which is what makes uh this challenge so awesome so here we go we got ronald here let's play it Ooh, I love the sun there in the desert, feeling the heat. Awesome. I like, like how it's going in and out of shadow. Really nice. Wow. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and play it again. So one thing I'll just play and talk really quickly. I love how the sun, like you're playing with the ins and outs of the color um of the dragon going in and out of light which you know is a challenge in itself but it's getting that interaction with the environment that i really like 
I one of my favorite parts is when you put the uh the dragon against the sun and it's kind of creates that yeah like in and out of the sun type of feel I think overall it's doing really well I like the textures that you put on the rocks here uh I think the leveling is good you don't go too like bright in the hots and and whatnot I think there's opportunity here like in the last frame to make a better pause here to one have a little bit more shaping back here in the shadows since they end up in the shadows it is a little tricky but this is where it's like i'd say the bounce like it should go a little bit darker in the belly here same here with the grounding that i was mentioning with um, the mother kind of down on the ground you get a little bit darker where she is laying down and same with the belly of the baby and then this is where it's like it would be nice to get a little bit of the soft kind of uh, fill wrap to get a little bit more shaping on these characters. Um, you can even do the reverse for the mom, where the the top of the of the character would go a little bit dark because they're underneath a rock, right? So it's kind of like this gradient of dark, light, dark. So overall, I'm really liking it. Amazing job. I love how it goes in and out of the light and that play with light. It's really fitting well into the environment. Okay, so we've gone through all these amazing submissions. Absolutely love it. One, I absolutely love how different they are and how everyone just makes it their own. So again, this was like, this was the raw footage and you could see how everyone just did an awesome job of, you know, um, making it their own, putting their own story, their own mood, color palette, and the opportunities are endless for you to create your own. And if you are watching this and you're like, oh, I wish I could do it, hey, you still can, and you can submit it here. It won't be part of the official lighting challenge, but there's always opportunities to create, and we have over 30 assets ready to light for you to create. So without further ado, let's announce the winner. So this challenge we are actually having the animator pick the winner and i spoke with uh aaron mcgriff who is the founder of cg griff uh, and the uh animator uh atif abraham Ebra has announced the winner and ready to do, do as i dramatically scroll down to find the winner of which one the animator has chosen they have chosen this one by, I, I know this is your alias, <coughs> Ellen Gooey. Um, congratulations. The animator has chosen yours, and I will read the quote that the animator mentioned. They wrote, this is really nice. I really like the color choices and the simplicity of the overall lighting. The colors are well chosen, making the animation clear and conveying the scene effectively. The contrast between the detailed ground with the individual rocks visible and the simple blurred background works beautifully together. The fog on the ground as the character jumps down is a great touch. It enhances the atmosphere and sets up the upcoming action perfectly. Well done, beautiful work. So there you go. Congratulations. Well done. The animator loved it. And he loved all the other submissions as well. So with that, Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm loving all these submissions. Pete, especially that last, this last frame, I think is wonderful. Just bring, up, bring down that key for me, okay? And then overall, to announce the upcoming for those that are watching that are ready for the next challenge, this is the sneak peek that will be coming out this week for the next challenge. It is called, It Doesn't Make Any Sense, animated by Fabio Puglisi and also from CG Riff. So let me play it as the end to give you a little sneak peek of what's coming up. And if you would like to light it, perfect opportunity. So with that, happy lighting. <laughs> 